Good morrow and well met. I'm Kelsey of UGK and today we are playing The Sims Medieval. I am a professional Sims 4 player. I've been playing The Sims 4 for years, so I have a pretty good grasp on the game. But I will admit, I'm not as familiar with the other games, specifically The Sims Medieval. In fact, I've never played this game. The Sims 4 Medieval was released in 2011, which makes this game over 12 years old. So we're gonna all learn this together. Go easy on me if I don't know a lot. Let me know in the comments below, have you played this game before? I'm very curious to know your guys' thoughts. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My dream is to hit 900,000 subscribers and we're getting pretty close, if not already at 875,000 subscribers, which is flipping huge. That being said, let's jump into the video. Welcome to, I'm gonna listen to this soon. Oh my God. Also, I forgot to point out, I dressed up for the occasion. Do you like my garb? I wore some of my Ren Faire outfit for you all today. I also have a sword over here. It might be the master sword, but I am ready. Ah! I'm ready to be a queen. Welcome to The Sims Medieval. Oh my gosh, the soundtrack is incredible. Oh. Eh. To start, you need to select an ambition. For now, you must choose the ambition new beginnings. Okay, they're making me do whatever I want. I don't get to choose. You earn achievements as you play, which increases your watcher level. Am I just watching a game being played? Get achievements to advance past Peepsmith. What do you mean I'm Peepsmith? I don't want to be a Peepsmith. I want to be queen. When you start a new game with the new beginnings ambition, you begin with 50 quest points, QP, which you spend to embark on quests and adventures. Click on the round green play button to start your game. All right, we're doing new beginnings. Everyone has to begin somewhere. And the first ambition of any monarch, okay, I am gonna be queen, is to populate their kingdom. A kingdom full of buildings and sims is, oh my God, do I have to like build buildings? Is this gonna be like Roller Coaster Tycoon or whatever? I was terrible at making roller coasters in zoos and everything. I am not good with management. I understand that maybe saying that doesn't make me the best option for queen, but I'm a good people person. Let's name my kingdom. The kingdom is named. Okay, hold on. The Danger Zone, after my username, Kelsey Dangerous. We could name it Kelseyopia. We can name it after my jog, Chewy. We can name it after Chelsea. But I don't want Chelsea to be the star of the show. I'm the star of the show. Im impeach it. Impeach a shmay. Yeah. Yes. Impeach your shmadia. We're gonna be doing, oh, it could be unfurnished. No, I'm gonna do traditional. I wanna spend all my money up front to look good. That's the kind of queen I am. You are now in kingdom mode. This is where you manage your kingdom and place buildings. <laughs> Above, you can see the state of the kingdom. This panel has a summary of the kingdom's current status, renown, and resources, RP. Right now, the kingdom needs a monarch. Good thing I'm here. The monarch is a hero sim that you need to play the game. A monarch lives and works in the throne room. Heroes are the sims I control, so I get to be the monarch, but I also seem to be able to be other sims. You start the game with just the monarch, and then you add heroes over time. Ooh, when you complete a class and earn rescue resource points, you can spend to bring new building and a new hero. Ooh, each hero has a different profession and building, and there are 10 different heroes. I must collect them all. Hero sims can marry each other. <gasps> My monarch could marry a prince and live in her castle. And any of the non-hero sims can go on quests, increase their level, make money, and but any hero can fish or gather wildflowers to make some extra simoleons. You could do a rags to riches vibe in that. You can add new heroes to your kingdom in the kingdom mode after you place the bit. Okay, I'm tired of tutorial. I'm gonna add a monarch, Taylor or Jesse. No, I'm gonna create my own monarch. I don't wanna put a Taylor or a Jesse on the throne. First name, Kelsey. Last name, Dangerous. Quinn Kelsey of Dangerous. I'm a female and my voice is gonna be. Why does it sound like she's speaking French? Like that is definitely a different language. All right, next we got skin tone. I am a pale girly. So we're gonna make her pale. Face details. Oh, this is her blush, okay. We're gonna make her a little blushy. Age, okay, we're gonna make her young. I like her body weight fine. I like that she's muscular, it's kind of good. Go off girl, she's gonna fight in some battles. We're gonna add some traits. Ooh, adventurous, Hall of the sea. Does that mean like we're gonna be a pirate? Chivalrous, they're kind, courteous, and loyally adhere to the noble idea of courtly love. A creative cook, she could be dedicated. Oh, we have to have one fatal flaw too. That's so cool. Earthly, eloquent, entitled, evil. I could be an evil queen. 
excitable, friendly, fun-loving, good, greedy, a greedy queen, a haggler, a hopeful orphan. Hopeful orphans are sims on a quest to find their long lost parents. They're out there somewhere. I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Loves a family, a jokester, scholarly, unkempt, vain, wail at my parents. <laughs> Carnivorous sim eating whales were a constant threat back in medieval times. Indeed, legend has it that the ocean was formed from the tears of orphan children. Well, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Orphan children oh, whose parents were devoured by these underwater. <laughs> we only get two traits. Kind of want an evil sim, an evil queen. I also want her to be eloquent. Her fatal flaw is could she be, oh wow, bloodthirsty, wants a fight. Compulsive gambler, cowardly, cruel, cursed, drunkard, a fool, a glutton. These are harsh. I love it. Guild enemy, hubris, insomnious, licentious. <laughs> They're looking to get some action. A misanthrope, punny, uncouth. Well, she can't be uncouth because she's eloquent. A weak constitution. She's sick a lot. I'm gonna go with her maybe being cruel. She kind of is mean to other people. I like it. Wait, I'm making me. This might be Chelsea after all. This is Chelsea Dangerous of In Peach's Media. This is not me. Chelsea is the evil queen. Uh, Chelsea is blonde. She's a blonde queen. These are kind of fun. Oh, I like this one. This little hair. That one's okay. Look at these little medieval vibe. Kind of like this one, honestly. This one's okay. Mm, I wish there were more options. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then I want to get her a little hat. Oh, okay. That changes what the hair is because she's got a crown. Oh, that one's pretty too though. I like this crown that kind of sits lower on her head. I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's a sleigh. Although the silver kind of looks good with her blue eyes. So maybe I'll go with the silver. I can change the color of stuff. That's kind of cool. So I could make it kind of more of like a blue blue. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm not going to change anything too much because I want to change her outfit. But her brows. I want the darker brow. That's giving evil queen. She looked mad there. I want her to look not like evil, but she actually is. What looks like my face? That one. I have an oval face. I think I'm going to go with this one. This one kind of looks like my face. Eye color. Kind of got like gray blue eye color. So I'm going to go with there. Nose. Lip. Can I not give her little lashes? Where's the lashes? She doesn't get lashes. That makes me sad. Oh, eyeshadow. There's really not a lot of options. Oh, there's piratey looking ones. Looking good. Queen Chelsea, I get to pick her fit. Ooh, she can be, okay, go off queen. I mean, she is the queen. So I want her to look regal and pretty. Ooh, this one's very regal and pretty. Wow, so many pretty dresses. These are giving queen vibes with a headpiece. So I think I might go with this one. Yay, we made Chelsea. I love her. Lady Chelsea, what do you mean lady? She's the monarch. The throne room is the nerve center of the royal palace and the hub of activity. Now you have a hero sim, you can embark upon quests. The first steps, the dust has finally settled on the construction of a grand throne room. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom have been planted and soon a civilization would grow and cover the land for miles in all directions. The only thing in Pichishmedia <laughs> needed now was a ruler. It's the dumbest name. I think I could have given this place. Someone wise and powerful who could unite people under a kingdom's cause. And they got the evil queen, Lady Chelsea. Building a kingdom from the ground up is no simple task. Whoever look on this incredible mission would need to secure resources, hire staff, and control the budgeting populace and beat back the criminal element. She'll be great at that. Let's go. Welcome to live mode. Here's the quest panel. I should prepare to meet the build master Anthony, a quick jaunt upstairs to the mirror should suffice. Look at her, look at her. Who is this? Who are you? Who are these people? Builder Vix, Builder Wedge, and Builder Sherry. This is Builder Paragon. But oh my gosh, look at my throne room. Worth the extra money, let me tell you. You gotta find the builder. Where did it go? There's only these three rooms. Oh, I can make food, warm my hands. Yeah, I think this is my bedroom. Evil slumber. She wants to look her best. Use the floor navigation controls to find the mirror upstairs. Click on the mirror and select the interaction. Gussy up. All right, we're gonna gussy up, girl. Let's go. Go.
Go, Chelsea, go. We love it, Chelsea. What a beautiful evil queen you are, Chelsea. Gussie yourself, girl. She's feeling fiendishly delighted. Sims of the evil persuasion take pleasure in the most fortune of others. Well decorated and she's slightly focused. That's nice. She's still gussying in the mirror. We did it, perfect. Now I'm a little more focused. Staying focused will make it easier for me to complete any journeys in which I may find myself. Speaking of which, I should seek out the build master Anthony. That's who it is of the Builders Guild. Anthony, 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 Anthony. Is this Anthony? No, that's Michaela, my servant. Can I like go yell at her and be mean? I am evil. Be mean to her. <laughs> Little womanhood. Oh my gosh, that's so mean. Call a milky-eyed knave. Mock appearance, spit in her face. Wow, wow, wow. Is that really Chelsea's first action? This is a very different type of Chelsea. This is alternate universe Chelsea. We're just gonna let her go. I'm gonna be mean later. Oh, is she okay? Why is her face like that? Oh, she's evil. <laughs> she's laughing evilly. Oh, is this is this him? Buildmaster Anthony, we've been looking for you. We need to talk to you about something. Ask how fair thee. How fair thee, Buildmaster Anthony? This is my focus meter. You can maintain high focus by staying well-rested, keeping your belly satiated, and engaging interactions that align with your traits. Anthony's having a bad day. Why are you having a bad day? You just finished my castle. You should be pleased with yourself. My builder will have a good idea of how to expand my kingdom, so we should discuss the castle build with him. Discuss the castle. Perfect. I don't like that they're behind this little thing, so I can't see them very well. I don't really care about your bad day, Anthony. <laughs> Evilly laughing in front of him. Well, the throne room is all done, milady. We'll need more resources to begin the next building in this kingdom. Wood, stone, and supplies will cover it. Okay, so we need wood, stone, and supplies. Should we flirt with him? Stole his virtues, bestow favor, praise his look, and woo. <laughs> woo. You must walk to the forest to collect wood. I'm sorry, I am the queen. Queens don't walk into forests collecting woods. They go send people like you, Anthony, to go do that for me. Ah, the forest. Much advantage. Adventure awaits me in these woods. The wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. Never know when wildflowers come in handy. I don't know where the wildflowers are. Are these wildflowers? Discover and collect wildflowers. Okay, that seems about right. So she's gonna go discover these flowers. I like how the ground is just a blur. She has discovered wildflowers, so we can collect them. We're gathering the wildflowers as a queen in the woods. I'm assuming I'm a queen of nothing at this point. There are all kinds of plants one can pick across the kingdom. I believe wizards, physicians, and spies use plants to make medicines and potions. Who's over here? Forest bandit. I'll handle this bandit and make the kingdom a safer place. We did give her quite a bit of muscle. I think we can handle it. I challenge you to a duel. Let's slap her. Bandit dares to threaten the queen. My trusty sword can bring this brigade to justice. I'm gonna slap her first though. Oh, and she's vain. Lindsay's vein. Did you not like me slapping your face? Less attractive, but we can challenge duel to the death. It's on, girl. I'm gonna slap, I'm gonna throw the gauntlet down. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, look, I'm in a little night fit. Let's go, Chelsea, go. Go, go, Chelsea, go, Chelsea, go. Okay. Oh, oh, this is, okay. Oh my gosh, Chelsea. Chelsea, you cruel, eloquent, evil little thing. She's also agnostic. We don't know if she's believing in the faith yet. Oh, oh, she got her in the arm. Yes, Chelsea. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, block. Perry, thrust. Oh, she got her in the arm again. Chelsea's, Chelsea, oh, Chelsea! She's knocked prone. Chelsea, get back up again. Why did she wait for the queen to get up? That was, that was Chelsea's bad. There we go, on the ground. Aha, glory, triumph. Oh, she loves it too, she's so evil. So let's go collect some more wildflowers and then collect wood. Yes, good girl. Go Chelsea, go. In her little night outfit, Lady Chelsea's crushing it. Yay, we collected two wildflowers and some seeds as well. Oh, there was always adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. Wood is perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need stone. I can mine some in the cave by the graveyard. Ah, oh, my lady, can I have a word please? It's about my work here. 
Oh, he kneeled. Are you okay, Builder Vix? Builder Vix does not look too good. And Bil wait a second. Why is Builder Vix on the ground, but also Builder Wedge? That looks a little inappropriate. Well, milady, I was just wondering if you would consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems unceremonious to bury these people without a proper rite from a Jacobean or Peterian priest. Oh, I gotta get the church involved. Maybe I don't need to get the church involved. What if we just didn't? I love that Chelsea's evil, but I really haven't done anything all that bad yet. Yet! Chelsea collected stones while venturing deep into the endless abyss of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down into a sheer drop into a dark abyss. Risk opening the mysterious chest that happened to be sitting in a puddle in the depths of- Oh, we're gonna open it. We're an evil queen. What possibly could be in there? Chelsea opened the lid and found a small bounty! Yes! pays to be adventurous. That should be enough stone for the builder. Look at all these different places. Who are these people? A town crier, Sextus, a judgment zone. Someone's calling for help. I should see what's wrong. Okay, let's go find Michaela and we're going to check her safety. You look poor. She looks like she doesn't have money. I don't know if I should be talking to you. There's a woman in the town square. She pushed me into the mud and called me names. That can't happen in Peachish Media. A bully in my kingdom. No one bullies my people but me. This is my perfect opportunity to be rude. I will Will not accept bullying in Impeach Media. Sometime in the stocks, we'll teach this bully to think before she acts. Yeah, we'll put her in the stocks. Send town bully Tyra to stocks. Spit in her face. Well, we're gonna spit in her face first. We were in the mood. I wanna see the interaction. All right, I'm gonna spit in her face. Yeah, town bully. Think before you act. I don't like your style. The constable is on his way to arrest Tara. Ah, oh, it's good to be queen. Everyone has their own way of going about these problems, though. I wonder how a wizard or physician would have handled that bully. So I want to see the guy take her to the stock. Take her to the stocks, Constable Brent. Alewife Ida is like, oh, my queen, get over there. She's like, okay, don't hurt me. I'll go with you. Oh, my God. I love that whenever we walk someplace, people kneel. I'm like, <laughs> a girl can get you to this. You, Neil, knave to the judgment zone. The town bully Tara has been put in the stocks. Now to shame the bully. That'll make her think twice before messing with my town's people. And let's go throw it. Tomato, tomato. I'm gonna throw a tomato. <laughs> Boom, got her. <laughs> this game is incredible. I can't believe you could do that. Throw an egg now. You know, I think The Sims 4 could really use a bit more medieval vibes. This is a good time. It is good to be queen, Chelsea. It is good to be queen. So we're gonna go back to the throne room. My lady, thank you for responding to my plea for help. For your great kindness, I pledge to be your loyal servant from this day forward. I will wait you in the throne room. Sick. Well, hello, good looking. It would seem few visitors have arrived while I was out, and I do believe a visitor who catches my eye. Not to risk modest discourse, but the sign of a practiced bard is not only a me melodious poetry, of his musical compositions, but also stalwart physique and commitment to his craft. Oh, is she into the bard? I, a traveling merchant, bring many lustrous and succulent goods for your perusal. Please approach me to consume my trade. Okay, we're super into the bard that's here. And in here, is there the bard? Scallywag, a guildsman, a trader, minstrel. Is it Minstrel Roy? Is that who I'm vibing? All right, we need to make a choice. Will I entice the Minstrel Roy, the rugged, handsome bard? Or will I woo Trader Elaine, the beautiful and elegant merchant? A rugged, handsome bard does sound like my kind of tea. But Trader Elaine could probably give me money. So I'm gonna go with Trader Elaine. I've never been able to resist a woman who knows her way around gold. And I presume she won't be able to resist this wildflower I picked earlier. Oh, I gotta go back and pick more wildflowers, I think. Well, back out to the forest for me to go pick wildflowers. Don't mind me, just having a nice little day out. Sorry, I'm a woman after money. Lady Elaine, let's woo her a bit. Minstrel Roy, it seems a little mad at uh, whoever this is. Pontificate poignantly because we're very eloquent. And then we're going to praise her beauty. She seems to be appreciating us. We're gonna woo her a bit. She likes us. She thinks we're being flirty. We are being flirty with her. We're gonna give her a flower now. This is for you. I am a queen. I don't know why I would be seducing a merchant, but it's fine. Why, thank you. I've traded many flowers in my lifetime, but none as beautiful as this. Yeah, I would hope so. You are a most kind and most enticing queen. Thank you. Now we need to build resources with Master Anthony, unless I seduce Minstrel Roy as well. Oh, the bloom, early blossoms of love. I can't wait to see the other beautiful travelers that will come to Impeachish Media. Perhaps I could even start a family with one of them, but for now I should deliver the resources to build Master Anthony. Will it make her mad? I don't know if I want to make Trader Elaine mad. She's bowing to me. Oh yeah, I think she... 
I think she might have been a little mad that I turned around and gave him my favor. Goodbye, subjects that are here for my whims. Amias is my royal advisor. I like it with girl power. Milady, to be honest, the throne dude is a bit out dare. Oh my God. I just met you. And the first thing that you say to me is that my throne room sucks. Back the heck up, girl. You need to furnish it better if you're gonna impress any foreign leaders. Or oh, you'll need simoleons to purchase. Okay, simoles to purchase items. So I'm adding to your fund. Yeah, you better give me money. My advisor has suggested buying something to decorate the phone room. Let's go into furnish mode. Welcome to furnish mode. A furnished toolbox gives you the variety of ways to decorate. Put some flags up. Can they be red? Or, oh, let's put these flags. Hello, yes. Welcome to my throne room. Put them over here. There you go. We got another one over here. I think that looked nice. What about those nice little banners? You telling me that I don't have a nice throne room? Look at those banners. They're beautiful. I declare the throne room is open. Oh, Much better, milady. I would even suggest an official proclamation that the throne room is open to diplomats from foreign lands. It's not a bad idea to consider opening more relations with our neighborhood nations. I should take a peek at the tactical map before I continue to expand my kingdom. Get out of my way. What are you doing over here? This is my place to do my treaties. Dear other countries, my name is Lady Chelsea. I would like to have peace. The end. XOXO, Lady Chelsea. Dear people, violence, so passe. Sue for peace, but don't sue this girl. XOXO, Lady Chelsea. He's writing a lot of letters. Apparently there's plenty of people. What's this? I'm gonna try, I guess, to hunt and kill the bear. Back to the forest. Hunting for the great bear. Chelsea tracked down a large black forest bear to its feeding ground. Surprising the animal, she dispatched the furry honey lover with a single blow, carving out four choice chunks of bear meat to take home. Go off, girl. And now we gotta go view our political situation. She's going back. You know, just ruler things, going out and hunting bears. Let's go over here to this map and we're going to view the political situation. All of you get out of my way. I've got anger issues again. I like how this makes me be mean. If I'm an evil queen, I've got to keep being mean. Otherwise I get negative impact. Like that's a very smart way of making sure that my sin stays mean. Okay, impeach your shmadia. This is my kingdom, the seat of a budgeting empire. Just it's for greatness or not. It's all up to you. And then there's Tridany, the merchant princess Renee of Tridany. Maybe I need to marry another princess. For many generations, Tridany has been a central hub of commerce. And this, the music is just such a bob. And I like the music so much. The first pupils of their famed institute did math and discovered that it was far more profitable to buy and sell goods than actually produce them. And then this is the Smithmaster DeForest Craft Hole. Craft Hole. <laughs> kind of sounds like Crap Hole. <laughs> Makers and doers of the world, their determination is grounded in their belief of hard work equals success. Write our own story. The kingdom of Impeachmania is ruled by Chelsea, Mat the true matriarch and beauty us queen. The end. That's all you need to know. Impeachment Media expands the number of territories I can explore. Speaking of expanding, I wonder if Buildmaster Anthony has finished taking inventory of the resources. It's time to talk back with Buildmaster Anthony to see if I can build some new buildings. So far, my kingdom is just like a town crier, a shop, a forest, the judgment zone. Judgment zone! Let's discuss the future of the kingdom. Anthony! Do you have anything for me to do? There are enough resources here and the builders are all ready. Only one question remains, milady. Okay, what's the question? <laughs> Tell me everything now. What will you build, highness? Oh, that was very dramatic. I like it. Okay, congratulations on completing your first quest. Yay, I did it! You can see your overall quest performance on the left page right here. No, right here. The quest performance determines the level of your quest rewards on the right page. Your kingdom results Ba -ba 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 skills and notoriety. Oh, I'm level two now, baby! Yes! Kingdom aspects. Of the well-being is neutral. Security is neutral. Culture is neutral, but knowledge is high. Go off, us. You can now purchase new building using your resources. Select any green map maker to make your purchase. After you place a building, you'll choose a new hero sim of a new profession to occupy it, which means I can start a new sim. And this concludes the tutorial. I finished the tutorial. 
fairly well adventure and happy questing. Welcome to Sid Medieval Pirates and Nobles. You'll take the new quests in the quest book are marked with cross sword symbol. Take the ominous tides quest to begin the epic story of Pirates and Nobles. So I can be a pirate now too. I'm gonna leave this one right here, but I'm very curious what pirating has in store for me. If you're interested, make sure to let me know in the comments below. You would like to see this story continue and see how the kingdom of Impeachmania continues its grand tale. I would love to play again. And until next time, I must bade thee farewell. Oh, parting is such sweet sorrow that I must say goodbye till it be morrow. See you in the next video. <laughs>